This is a short video uh, about a transistor radio manufactured by Roberts. The model is the RP26. I believe there were several variations. This radio actually dates from around about 1989, so 30 years ago or so it was made. Um, I should say that this video is actually dedicated to someone I'd call a friend, uh, Gary, a gentleman who lives in Indiana in the USA. He has an excellent YouTube channel uh, called Two Hands and a Radio, in which he reviews and talks about uh, inexpensive radios. Um, often mostly shortwave radios. Sometimes he dares to lapse into his hobby of ham radio or amateur radio. Um, as I say, this, this video is dedicated to him and I suppose to other YouTube uh, video makers like him because he takes his own time to make videos um, for people's entertainment and enjoyment and the responses he gets whilst mostly friendly and positive occasionally aren't um, he's used the phrase asshats there are those unfortunately who think that they can be unpleasant in comments uh, whilst they're hiding away behind their keyboards and screens anyway uh, enough of the less uh, salubrious side of YouTube and on to this particular radio as I said it's made by Roberts a British manufacturer made in England um, this one you may well be able to see there's the dog uh, has got a small logo here it's uh, by appointment to Her Majesty. Um, that's not uncommon for British made consumer goods, or used to be. Um, it's kind of a endorsement, I suppose. This radio uh, is mains. Um, it has provision for six D cells in the base and I think I've just dropped part of the radio but unfortunately and I'm gonna have to excuse myself for the I suppose I could cut this but I really don't have that much in the way of video skill This piece is the cover, and it's interesting because that is actually what I wanted to describe. The clever, or perhaps less so clever thing about this radio is it doesn't have a tuning dial. And if you look at the controls on the top of the radio, it has from the right a volume control a tone control and then it has six individual uh, tune tuning wheels and above that you can see a row of push buttons power on the left the AFC circuit and then two presets for medium wave, one preset for long wave, and three FM VHF presets. So, to use the radio, and I'll turn it on. 39 to 40 will then be the time. Ah, cricket commentary. 
Uh, that's actually on long wave. There is actually only, well, very little still broadcasting on long wave apart from the BBC. There are, as I said, two medium wave. And there are many, many other women who benefit from better perinatal and hospice care here in Northern Ireland. Talk radio doesn't show off a radio at its best, but um, it's got a good speaker. Back to the cricket commentary. Classic FM, my favourite. A bit of buzz. I'll try and adjust that. Tuning on this is very twitchy, partly because of the very small tuning knobs. Uh, these are probably local stations. Turn to cricket commentary, as Two Hand says. Apparently, YouTube will kick you into touch if. Pretty reasonable uh, today, and rather different from a behaviour. You stay on the music too long. It's quite a handsome little radio, actually. I imagine years ago, possibly back in the 1970s, they would have boasted of the. Uh, leather effect vinyl, a solid wood, actually quite nice, end caps, more views of my terrier dog. This video is looking a little on the dark side so I'm sorry about that. Also I'm sorry that I don't have a tripod suitable for a mobile phone. But anyway, this is only intended to be a bit of fun. It's a kind of a thank you to Gary for all his videos. And by way of saying to commenters that it's easy to criticize, but it's harder to make a video that people will find interesting. And I probably should add a few more details about this radio anyway. Um, two hands always tells us the size of the radio. This one is 10 inches wide, 10 and a half with the handle. It's six and a half inches high and about three and a quarter inches front to back. The aerial antenna extends to 32 inches I think I measured it at. Again, sorry for my inept camera work. But there it is. A video about a radio, an old radio, with a somewhat unusual feature that I've never seen before I had this or since. This actually belonged to my late father-in-law. Um, he had radios all over his home. He loved them. Um, and I'm glad to have this one. So, cheers Gary, and uh, best wishes. And we'll sign off. From me, Stephen, and best the Yorkshire Terrier.